Oh my gosh, her new outfit is so cute, you guys. I'm sorry, what just happened? Hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, welcome in. My name is Ali, and I hope you all stay for a while. We are back with the Sims in Bloom legacy with our wonderful Penelope over here, who just got home from some sports day thing from our last episode. So I hope you guys do like this episode and let's get right into it. All right, she's like going through like a mood swing, a something, too much spirit. I don't even know, but she's definitely freezing her little butt off. So she's going to come inside, warm up. Why do we have just like a spare part? <laughs> but we are going to give some loves to Whiskers, scratch their favorite spot and everything. And definitely brush Whiskers because no one brushes Whiskers and it's really bad. And we left fruit salad out, so I'm just putting that in the fridge. And then she also will just be filling the bowl up for Whiskers and Clover. Or is it? Yeah, it's Clover. I have way too many cats. Okay. Oh my gosh. Little Lily down here is on her sister's computer. And I'm going to pretty much assume that like Penelope is kind of territorial over her item, especially about her computer. So I feel like she's going to come down and be a little mean. Uh, accuse of touching possessions. I think that's actually a perfect one. She's going to come down and be like, Lily, like, mom got this for my birthday. You did not get this. Don't come in my room and, like, touch my things. Just, you know, sister, sister stuff, obviously. And then also, Lily is aging up today and we got home super late. So I do want Daisy to make lily's cake for her because we definitely want to celebrate lily's birthday okay so daisy is just going to come over and make some honey cake for lily for her birthday and i don't think she really wants you know a huge thing oh they're arguing oh lily was just like uh i don't really care what you're saying sis like it's no big deal Oh, Penelope is not having it. She's like, get off of my computer now. And we should study for our exam because we have that tomorrow, I believe. So I do think Penelope is going to start studying for her exam after, you know, Lily finally got off of her computer. And, you know, little sister being little sister, I kind of imagine her coming into the kitchen and being like, mom, like... Penelope just kicked me off of the computer and said all these awful things. You know, just, you know what, like a little sister would do. I feel like that's what little Lily over here would do. I do want to just add birthday candles before anyone takes a piece. But yeah, I think she's going to come down and be like, Mom, like, she won't let me play on the computer. I don't understand and all that jazz. One Daisy's like, honey, like that was your sister's gift for her birthday. You need to let her have it. We have the family computer upstairs. And it is so late. I do want Lily to blow out her candles. Oh my gosh. Of course, Penelope is standing just right in front of it. Happy birthday. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, Penelope is singing a little confetti or blowing her horn. All right, where is she going to age up? What am I doing out here? I don't know what you're doing out here. And preteen years. Okay, so Lily has officially aged up and she is now a preteen. And since she is not following the next generation heir, I am going to give her something different. I feel like she was a very creative kid when she was growing up. I think I'm going to give her creativity and then then maybe I'll give her something with like knitting. I feel like she'd be into knitting for some reason. Oh my gosh, look at her. Oh, she is speeding away. I love this hair she actually has on. I don't even know what hair this is. But this is Lily. Oh my gosh. She's like having a radiant glow right now. 
Okay, so everyone just celebrated their birthday and we are going to head. Everyone is going to start heading to sleep. I do want to give Lily just... Actually, I'm going to give Lily off camera as well. I think I'm going to give Lily a makeover once I finish up this episode off camera. So when you guys see her in the next episode, it'll kind of be like a little surprise, which I think is fun. Oh my gosh. And Lover is up here on the counters, of course. So Penelope is obviously going to come up and be like, Clover, how many times have I told you not to gump on our those counters? Like, oh my gosh, wait, did they learn? Did Clover learn? No? Oh my gosh, it takes so much to get Clover to learn lecture about eating human food. Oh my gosh, she's like, I'm too tired. <gasps> Clover has learned to not eat people food. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are officially on the second part of the front of the animals, which is be companions with two animals, feel the love five times, and successfully train out four misbehaviors. Oh my gosh, that is... The misbehavior part is so difficult, you guys. Uh, Penelope is going to head to sleep because it is like two in the morning. All right, she is off to sleep, so I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lily is up. She has to use the toilet. I'm like really interested in what her outfits are because I didn't get to do the makeover. Okay, honestly, she came in with kind of cute outfits. That's her everyday wear. It's giving me kind of a sense of style that she has, which is kind of more preppy than her sister. Oh my gosh, this girl wakes up and is like, oh, I let me let me just clean the toilet. It looks a little nasty. <gasps> oh no. Whiskers is feeling a little sick. So we definitely are gonna give Whiskers their vet treat today. Because we did pick up a few extra ones. So once Penelope wakes up, she'll give a little vet treat. Girl, you are playing with fire over here. Alright snooze turn off your alarm and now that like lily is a teen i definitely want her to get you know like we're gonna be a little more mischievous like don't touch my possessions lily like i told you this when you were younger and it still stands lily is such like a laid-back sim she's like it's no biggie Okay, so I definitely do think that she is going to lock the computer for everyone but Penelope. Because she's like, I'm sick of the fact that everyone is going on my computer. Okay, but let us... Okay, let us give a little that treat to Whiskers. And then I also noticed last night that we can... We could be companions last night, but now I'm not seeing it. Y'all, this creature keeper will not leave our deaf flower alone. Oh my gosh. This is literally like the third creature keeper that has come to check out our little flower. All right. Here's your little treat. I hope this makes you feel better. Oh my gosh, I think I deleted Daisy's custom content hair by accident. <laughs> oh gosh. <clears throat> I am just going to switch her to her every dairy so I can get her hair. Okay, there we go. She has hair on her now. But we can do feel the love. Oh, a balanced meal. Someone said eating dirt was okay. Uh. Eating dirt is really unhealthy, Jasper. Oh, and we could become companions with Clover. Okay, so... Oh, <laughs> I'm the worst at timing. Okay, we are going to join her. So, we just got to school. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time to become companions with our little cat. But we will definitely do that when we get home. And... Here she is. Here's Candace. So let's go say hi to her. Um, oh my gosh, she is having some mental breakdowns. Um, okay, so why don't we go over to Candace and kind of say hi, like how you been? 
And because she couldn't get any food this morning, I am going to get her to get something from this vending machine. And if you guys don't know, D Penelope does not have the best of luck with these little machines. Um, I'm just going to get her this little pepperoni pizza roll-up thing. Not the healthiest, but it will definitely have to do since she's pretty hungry. Okay, and I went to our inventory. So why don't you eat that before class? Miss girl, why are you sitting in the principal office with the one who doesn't even really like you? I don't think that is your smartest idea. And Penelope is already fully prepared for her next exam, so that is amazing. I'm just gonna have her kind of come up and say hi to all of these students. And I don't see... Oh, Candace is down here. It looks like she's chatting up someone. Um, it doesn't look like they're getting along too well. She just... she had a crush thing. Penelope sentiments about Alexa. First impression crush. Okay. Our free time does end pretty soon. I don't think we'll get to chat with Alexa too much, but I definitely want to chat with Alexa. Okay, our class is starting, so we definitely need to go and attend exam. We did not get to chat with Alexa too much, but hopefully we do. And we have to take our exam. That's so scary. I hope she does well. Festering bitterness by someone? Does she not like her teacher? Because I don't think she has anything against Grant. Oh, maybe it's Candace because I accidentally hit... Yeah, it's Candace because I accidentally hit um no to her best friend invitation. Okay, but Penelope is going to take her exam and we will see how she does. I definitely feel like a lot of the students we met last time is not here, so I don't know what that is about. Okay, exam just ended, so we're going to be friendly with Candace because I feel like we didn't get to chat with her this morning. I'm actually not seeing anything to chat with her, but we'll gossip about a classmate. I feel like Penelope's feeling, you know, a little, a little mischievous being popular. So she's going to be like, you know, like I heard this thing about blah, blah, blah. Just make sure it's not about Grant because he's literally sitting right there. Oh my gosh. I heard Grant cheated on a test last week. I said, please do not do it to him because he's right there. This girl cannot take a hint. Okay, we're just going to get some food and we are going to chat with Alexa because she did get a first impression of a crush with her. So I do want to get to know Alexa a little bit more. And, you know, we can kind of complain to her about feeling a little burnt out. It might be a little weird since we kind of just met her. And I do really want to... I do really want her to apologize to Grant, so we will be doing that as well. Okay, she's a cheerful sim. That's cute. We can also be friendly with this uh, lunch lady, so we'll just do, you know, a friendly introduction. Also, Kim Ji Won is really pretty. I do want to do like a cute friendly introduction to her as well. I feel like since Penelope did get that like popular little title the last episode, I kind of want her to have like a bunch of friends. They might not, you know, be like the truest friends, but I feel like she should have a good amount of friends. She has the dizzies. Oh no. Why does she have some dizzies? Oh, she has dizzies from like her period coming up, I think. So she definitely isn't feeling too hot right now with her period. So we never claimed a locker. Maybe we should do that when we get upstairs. Oh my gosh, Agatha walking around so angry. I'm going to have her claim this locker because I think it's right outside of her class. Okay, she's about to take her next exam. Hopefully her not feeling too hot isn't going to like stress her out too much about the exam. Oh my gosh, girl, you need to get over this festering bitterness. It's it's not real. <laughs> okay, school day is over and exam report. 
Exams are finally over. The day was grueling and the questions were fierce, but the day is finally done. Thanks to all the quick work of the Scanotron uh, has been created. Here's how everyone did. Penelope did very well in her exams. Also, prom is coming tomorrow night. So we have to get ready for prom, which is so excited. I am going to claim locker ownership. Why is she feeling embarrassed? Hide the underwear from the first period? Oh no, girly. I don't think I even gave you tampons or pads to prep for this. Okay, I do think we are going to head home. And I think we're gonna invite over Candace again. And Daniel, since we are going to prom with him tomorrow, so I want to invite over Candace, Alexa, and Daniel. And I think she's just going to invite them to hang out at their local little... Yeah, I think they're going to go to the Brindleton Bay Family Park and just kind of hang out there for the day. So I also want her to meet some more animals. Okay, they're at the park. And it is snowing here too. I kind of want them to make snow angels, but I don't really think that's going to be kind of like their age kind of thing but i do want her to kind of chat with all of them and see how everyone's doing how is school how is their finals and stuff like that and maybe they can have like a snowball fight and i want her to do it with all of them oh my gosh no one is throwing snowballs oh are you okay scarlet jones no one is throwing snowballs though also, this has to be like a teen hangout because there are so many teens here, you guys. Maybe if we tell about orientation and identity, we'll get to know kind of more about Penelope. Because I'm kind of getting the feeling that she might be bi in a sense. But that's just the vibes I was getting. I'm not sure if she is. But with the mod, I do want to kind of see what she tells Candace. And it kind of seems like Alexa and Daniel are getting along extremely well, you guys. Oh no, she has to pee. Okay, we need to find a bathroom ASAP for her. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't see a bathroom here. Oh, here they are. I was like, there is no bathroom for her to use. Okay. So she's going to use the toilet and then obviously wash her hands after because hygiene is key. And then I kind of want them to, I was hoping to kind of find like cats and dogs for her to meet, but I'm not seeing like any animals. I see one furry. Okay, we are going to do the friendliest introduction to Fabio, I think it was. Oh, and Daniel is over here kind of making food. I like this. This is cute. Oh my gosh, it got so dark so quickly, you guys. Uh, boy, do not put our food on the ground that we're going to be eating. So uh, she isn't really telling her what her orientation identity is. Maybe we have to wait until... Please don't insult them. But maybe we have to wait until she's like an adult for her to figure it out. Which is totally understandable. But we'll ask Candace, you know, how her day was and just kind of catch up, see if she's excited for prom tomorrow, because I feel like she definitely would be the girl who's like, I'm so excited for my prom tomorrow. Also, I noticed she can kind of boost about popularity, so I'm going to do that with Daniel and see kind of what he says to that. Oh, and he's kind of like, yada, 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 you're popular, that's cool, whatever. And I think she's going to, you know, claim she's prom royalty to him. Kind of like get his hopes up really high about everything. Grant? Hey, a connection got their hands on a stash. Do you want to come and chill? What? On a stash of what? I like, I know I have mental in here so i don't know if it's related to that i'm gonna say no also you guys there is this cutie over here rudy and it reminds me of whiskers so much 
Oh my gosh, after just like a few interactions of brushing, she and the friendliest introduction, she's already good friends with Rudy. But it is getting kind of late. I do think she's going to start heading home. We didn't get to talk. Oh my gosh, I thought that shit cat was aging up. We didn't get to chat too much with Alexa, but maybe... Maybe she'll be like, you know, like, it's getting kind of late, Alexa. Do you want to, like, come back to my house to hang out and we'll have kind of a girl's day or girl's night? So I think we're going to bring back these two girls with us. So I just realized they're both cheerleaders and somehow our cute little geek is friends with them. All right, so they came back with us, kind of having a sleepover, but not because I don't actually think they'll stay over we can do some get to knows see how they've been oh my gosh <laughs> so lily has been put into kind of a social status as well so she is a part of the members the social group floaters okay and she very much so cares about being popular that's really interesting to see also, I never showed you guys Jasper's new little makeover. I think this is in his sleepwear. Jasper did not keep the makeover on that I gave him. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we will definitely be doing a few makeovers, actually. Oh my gosh, that stink face you just gave. She's going to introduce herself to Chandis, though. She's going to be like, this is for Lily. But she's going to be like, I heard that, like, kind of popular. So she'll gossip about a classmate. And just try to like suck up to her in a sense. <gasps> I heard Penelope is an alien from outer space. After all, look at that face. Oh my gosh. Lily, our own sister, just gossiped about us. So I definitely feel like Lily kind of has like a jealousy for Penelope in a sense. Because Penelope kind of like was able to, you know, get popular kind of out of nowhere. Miss Girl just destroyed our dollhouse and just ran away acting like nothing happened. Girl, you have some anger issues. Okay, it is almost 12 a.m. So I do think her mom is going to be like, okay, honey, like it's time that your friends start heading home. So they are going to head home now because it is getting really late. But of course, Penelope is going to stay up and start like programming, I think. Hacking. Maybe she'll hack her school grades. That's kind of devious. Okay, Penelope, you better do this well because if you don't, it is going to be really bad for you if the school finds out. And also, I completely forgot she did get her period, so we do have to get her some tampons. You know, just, just set it right next to her computer. A nice little surprise for her. Maybe we'll say her mom kind of like brought it for her because she knows that she's getting to that age. That does not sound good, what she's doing right now. Okay, she reached level 6 of programming. The sounds that are coming out of this computer right now is making me think she's going to get caught, just so you guys know. Oh my gosh, and Lily is still up out here kind of like doing her own thing. Oh my gosh, I thought Lily was asleep. <laughs> yeah, how did the grades go? You just finished? Did she finish? Um, I don't know if she finished, but she's off to bed and... Sweetie, why are you on your bed while your dad is sleeping? Like, it's almost three in the morning. It's definitely time that everyone goes to bed. Okay, but everyone is off to sleep, so I will see you guys when everyone wakes up. Okay, Penelope is up. She's like completely ignoring her alarm clock. She's like, that doesn't exist. But I think the worst thing she's going to do is kind of get on the computer don't know if she finished hacking the school grades. Like, I didn't get a notification. And I definitely feel like she'd want to be, you know, higher than a C student. So I'm going to try it again. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just realized there is a pile of dishes right on her little nightstand table. 
That is so gross. Okay, I do think Lily will help out her sister and just fill the bowl up for the little animals. And I wonder if any of her friends that were teens are now friends. She does not like Daniel, okay. Julius is now a teen. So maybe she'll invite over Julius to kind of come over, hang out. Because I think they were friends in elementary school. Oh my gosh, here she comes. She's like, hey sis, can I, can I use your computer? I don't think you're doing anything that important. Oh my gosh, and now your friend is up here on the computer. Why don't you, you know, like, grades are up. Penelope, it works. A little hacking and Penelope is already smarter person. Already a smarter person and she has the grades to prove it. Oh my gosh. She's a genius. <laughs> okay, she's gonna chat with Julius though. Oh, and she came up to ask her mom for like some advice. That's so cute. Oh, I really want to be friends with someone, but they don't seem to really want to be friends with me. Make one grand friendly gesture and just keep being friendly. Just keep being friendly. Also, we are going to use our tampon and take a bath. Okay, let's get some leftovers for breakfast today. We have some more fruit salad, so she'll grab a little serving. What is happening? She's like flushing the toilet repeatedly. <laughs> Like, your sister is just trying to use the bathroom, Penelope. Welcome to Cat's Facts. I would like to receive... I would like... Would you like to receive daily fun facts about cats? I feel like it's a prank call, but he's getting old. Oh my god. I'm saying, I feel like it's a prank call and he's going to get scammed, but he's a little old, so he might not know. So I said, okay. And he was scammed. Hey, wait a minute. That... That suspicious phone call doesn't seem all that legitimate. In retrospect, Logan has been scammed. Oh, sweet. Ask a crush out from having a crush. It's time. Penelope is ready to ask out her crush. Oh my gosh. So she wants to go out with Daniel. And we are allowed to date, but everything we do is just kind of like... It is what it is. It's not really going to go anywhere far. That's, that's literally... Daisy, go for it, Daisy. Oh my gosh. Clover comes out because Clover's like, dude, like you're getting love too. Oh my gosh. Lily invited over this guy. And I'm pretty sure she has just completely ignored him. Okay, I am gonna get Penelope to come down and enter a game tournament. I feel like we haven't been doing too much with her tournament. But we'll do kind of like a middle ground um we have definitely been entering in once a week i just don't think she's been practicing as much with video games as much as she has been with hacking okay she's in a tournament right now so hopefully it goes well she's like let me let me just enter in this tournament really quickly before i have to get ready for my prom and everything because prom should be today looks like Logan up here I was kind of mad at Lily because she's maybe he's mad because she's like kind of acting out. Lily isn't like being her normal self, but also he's just kind of getting old, so he's like trying to get mad at anything at this point. And she's almost done with her little tournament. Oh my gosh, she's not gonna finish her tournament because she's getting invited over to go somewhere for a get together. But we will come because I want her to go. We're going to invite the girls. So Alexa, Candice. I also wanted her to meet Kim Jiwon. So I think we're going to invite her as well. Just kind of invite a bunch of teens. <laughs> so it's a little party when they all go, you know? Only girls. We're only inviting girls. Oh my gosh. This is nice. Who invited us again? <laughs> okay, so I don't think we've actually met Nicole, so we can definitely introduce ourselves to her. And I wanted her to introduce herself to Kim Ji-won. 
uncaring that's a new one okay so i do want to go into cast really quickly so we can get her prom outfit all set up okay so she looks like she's in her athletic wear and this is her formal wear so i'm just going to change her formal wear up a bit and i will be right back to show you guys what i do so i kind of gave a bit of a big makeover so i'm just gonna show you guys everything i was in cast and i was like i want to give her a makeover so this is her new everyday look i just changed the hair and the outfit up a little bit i also gave her this outfit with an also a little bit of a different hair and the last two of her everyday is kind of what i want her style to kind of become she's become more like of an independent so i feel like she's getting her own style now and kind of finding her way so the last two is what i want her to wear more often this is also her formal wear for prom i think the dress is so gorgeous and then um she has this outfit but i don't love it so i'm actually just getting rid of it i thought i did already i kept her athletic wear the same her night wear the same party wear i added this dress once again i think this is more of her mom style than anything and this is the style she wants to have more of really yeah so she wants more of a kind of like grunge kind of look kind of y2k almost and kept the hot weather the same or the swim i added this new outfit just a cute little baby tee have the other ones kind of the same as well once again i need to find another shirt for her for the hot weather that is more in her style i might actually give her this one because it's kind of more grunge y2k look and i think i want her to have that style okay. anyways next outfit i kept the same pretty much i didn't really find okay i lied i just changed these up really quickly um this is her new cold weather outfit it's still like a very cutesy style but maybe she hasn't found it yet and this is the season we're in so that's why i wanted to keep it more like this and then i did actually give lily a makeover as well honestly i feel like these girls are literally replicas of daisy but this is her everyday wear and then we have her formal wear her sister is definitely more of a like cutesy slash trend follower i feel like so those are the outfits that i kind of gave her but let's get back into game oh my gosh her new outfit is so cute you guys oh my god i'm really excited about this okay everyone is kind of heading inside for the little get together oh my gosh it's brett we haven't seen him in a bit so we can definitely say hi to him comment on the beautiful day and candace is here as well she came out to say hi to us so we'll definitely say hi kind of enthused about video games and i feel like they're kind of looking at her you know like i'm sorry what just happened wowie that sim is irresistible penelope 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 has a major crush on fred um we have a crush on brett we also have a crush on daniel we also have a crush on alexa <laughs> so our girl is out here having crushes on everyone but he is the only one who is actually perceived as very attractive so i kind of find that interesting she's there's no like attractionness for her and he is just perceived as attractive so that's interesting where are you guys going he's literally shirtless and it's winter out oh my god so is he why are you guys oh my god no she literally asked to get pushed on the swing you guys okay y'all i think we kind of might know who her actual crush is but she doesn't really do relationships or anything like that like if she does a relationship it doesn't really go anywhere but i definitely think we might know her real crushes even though we literally have a want of asking daniel out 
So our girl is our girl is confused and we love it and it's okay. Okay. He has joined us in our swinging activities, you guys. They are pretty cute together, but he's definitely not who I thought she would have been going for. Uh-oh. Erp, uh-oh, the stomach nausea. How did she... S Why is she feeling sick? Girly. Honey, I don't think they're gonna like you taking a bath here. I don't know who, like, lives here and who house this is. But I definitely don't think that they're gonna like you taking a bath. Also, everyone is in their swimwear, so it's kind of like a pool party, I guess. So that's kind of cool. And Brett is actually over here on the computer. Oh, he did not want me to see what he was just looking at, you guys. Oh my gosh. I was like gonna like see if he's playing video games and maybe that's why they get along so well. But he was like, nope, you can't see what I'm doing. So what time does prom start? Okay, prom is starting. So let's travel to prom. Lily, you're still a preteen, so I'm not actually going to bring her with us. Okay, so we're at prom. I don't see Daniel. Oh, wait. No, I do. Daisy. Um, We've been thinking about drawing for a baby. Mom, I don't think that's a good idea because our dad is literally an elder. Okay, so here's Daniel. This is our date for prom. So she's going to dance, have some fun. Here's the chaperone. And why don't we just, you know, say hi to Daniel, see how he's been. Why is she thinking about babies, you guys? And sweetheart dance together. Oh, Marissa. Okay, we can be besties. And I do want her to vote for prom royalty, of course. Um, is this where you vote for? Yes. Okay. So let's vote for prom jester. And I don't know who would be it. Maybe Daniel, but he's not very jokingly. Maybe Grant. We'll vote for Grant, actually. And then let's vote for prom royalty. And we'll vote for Marissa, because she's our bestie. Okay, she's going to vote her decision. Big decisions. Okay, next we also want to use the photo booth. I do definitely want to take some photos. We'll just do a friendly photo with Daniel. Oh, and they're doing their sweetheart dance together. I mean, I don't know if that's a sweetheart dance he was just doing, but... Oh my gosh, wait, they're actually doing a cute sweetheart dance. He's like such an awkward little guy. But they are doing the sweetheart dance. Grant's kind of looking like he was mad. Improve poop punch what does that mean is she gonna spike it vintage glamour beverage now 100 percent more zest i don't know what that means i'm a little scared we'll get a sweet bun though because sweet buns are really yummy and then let's take our photo well i want to kind of take a solo photo by herself first oh wait, the word ceremony is starting I definitely want to see who is going to win. Oh yeah, take that flip, girl. Okay, everyone's like waiting back here. No one really likes the music. And we didn't win any prom royalty or anything. But congrats to these girls. Okay, take a photo with Daniel. And then take a happy photo by herself. This girl did not just pull out her homework at prom. Oh, they're getting to take their photos together. Oh, do I get to see how it came out? And prom is over. Let's keep this party going. Yes, well, let's bring some of our friends. So we'll bring Brett. This might cause drama because we also have a crush on 
Daniel, who is inviting us. Candace, Alexa, and Marissa. Okay, we're at the little after party. Of course, Brett is taking a flick of himself. Where the heck is everyone going? Is everyone just leaving the after party? Let's ride the Ferris wheel with someone. We'll ride it with Brett. I think that'll be fun. This girl is literally chasing after him. Okay, he's coming. He's literally walking while she runs because she's so excited. Any day now, Brett. You know, take your sweet time. I so wish we could see them in the Ferris wheel, but can't. And of course, Daniel was playing chess. Uh, I think she liked the Ferris wheel. There was no, like, big interaction with it. But I also noticed this cute little rice skating rink that I want them to go to. Candace, what is happening? I just wanted y'all to take some photos. Oh my gosh. He literally inserted himself, like, so close. Is she taking a photo by herself? Um, why did anyone want to join you? Take a friendly photo with your friends. Okay, she's taking a photo of Candace. We got one of her and Daniel at prom. So I do want to take a little friendly photo with Brett. I actually don't even know if Brett's still here. I think he is, but... Miss Girl, are you taking a photo by your... Oh, she's taking with Candace again. <laughs> Brett and Marissa have been talking for a while, and she's feeling flirty. So this is a little interesting. Just some tea, you know. Oh my gosh, he just did a full-on flip out here. Okay. Okay, I am going to end the episode here, so I hope that you guys did enjoy this episode of The Sims and Plume Legacy. If you guys did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. This episode was so fun. We got to celebrate prom and an after party. And we have kind of a new look for Penelope, so I'm super excited about that. This girl is also falling for people left and right, so let me know in the comments down below if you guys think she should get into a relationship with anyone. It won't be a serious one and it won't work out, just so you guys know. But let me know in the comments down below. But I am going to wrap up, so I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.